In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to uh, back up certain files in Unreal Engine. So the main purpose of this would be if you are creating a project, but you're using multiple different computers. Um, so that could be you're working at a company, you're working, uh, or you're doing studying a course or something like that, where you might be working on different computers. So the main issue is, is for example, starter content, that's like a one gig file. Uh, one gig folder um, so if you're trying to back that up and there's some issues with networking or the internet's just slow anyway um, this can take quite a long while to upload to a cloud storage like OneDrive or upload to a source control like Perforce or whatever so what you can do instead is back up individual U asset files or uh, Unreal files um, and then you can put that into a new project and as long as the things it's trying to reference so for example starter content or maybe third person template as long as those references are still there in another project so you've made a project with starter content that will then um, link up perfectly so you can just take those files and import them over so what I'm going to do is show you how to quickly do that so, for example, I've made a folder called Levels, where it's got two example levels. Those are blank, but it's just for uh, to showcase what this is going to be. Um, one called Materials, with a few materials. And let's say, for example, I changed the third-person character to do some input or whatever. So, what we're going to do is, if you want to access this really quickly, right-click one of the files, and then do Show in Folder View. So if you right click it, show in folder view, it will then open up, or it should do, or maybe it's Explorer, no, it's Explorer. So right click, show in Explorer. So I think folder view might be open up a different window if it's if you don't have content browser open. Anyway, so open up the uh, in Explorer and it'll open up this so you can see U asset and that's the thing that we want to copy over. So, for example, I'm going to do this to uh, a OneDrive storage. So what you could do is you could copy this over, make sure not to move it, because then it'll move it outside out of the project and then you'd have to put it in again. So copy it, so Control C, Control V, or right click copy, paste it over. Um, so what you could do is you could bring all these files over and try and put them where they are in a new project. So we go back to here, we can take these levels, put them in there, that kind of thing. That can work, but we'd need to put them in the same folder structure because when we put it into a new project, it should be that it references from the specific file order, uh, folder structure that it was in the previous project that we'd taken it from. So it might come up with issues with things like materials if you've got it from the starter content, that kind of thing, if it's not referencing exactly from the same spot. So the best thing I would suggest is just as the folder structures are here, so levels, the levels are in there, materials, the materials are in there, and then third person, blueprints, that's in there. So I'm going to make one called levels, I'm going to make a folder called materials and I'm going to make a folder called third person that's what it's called yep and then one inside of third person called blueprints and then if I go to there go to here copy that over go to materials copy them paste them into materials go to levels put the levels in then all I need to do is um, if I, for instance, close this project off, if I delete these, um, delete them, if I then launch that project again, example project, what we should then be able to do, I will show the project without the things that we've just made so if we make a blank project now it should look like this it has the starter content it has the third person uh, template it doesn't have the character because i just deleted that just for show of example but if i then open up the content uh, show in explorer it was already open um if i then all i literally have to do copy paste that over 
and then everything's here now everything's as it was as it should have been we've got the character so that's a really quick way so instead of having let's see how large this is going to be one gig that's with literally nothing added in just the starter content as it is if you are adding in models and textures and things like that it can get quite a large file size um whereas if i look at these it's less than a megabyte so that's a really quick way to back up files and uh, things that you've made into your project without having to zip up or back up the entire project and you can use that to really quickly transfer